Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Luke channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I would like to share an article that I wrote several weeks ago. I create video presentations of my articles for individuals who learn more effectively through watching and listening, as we all learn in different ways. To read the article, I'll put my glass back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. Here's the article. Brain Injury, Why Do I Feel So Misunderstood and Shunned? Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live, my friend. I'm happy to have you around my table. Recently, I received a comment and a question. As an individual living with the impact of a brain injury and, and an invisible disability, I've asked the question many times. The question I received was, why do I feel so misunderstood and sh shunned? In my experience and through many struggles, the answer to the question became apparent to me. If you have asked this question too, I would invite you to read on to find out what became apparent to me. As I asked and became aware, several realities became apparent to me. What became apparent to me helped me to have peace in my life when misunderstood and shunned. What became apparent to me helped me to grow in self-acceptance despite being misunderstood and shunned. What became apparent to me helped me to let go of the people in my life who might misunderstand and shun me. What became apparent to me helped me to move across the bridge called hope and create a good life for myself. Realization. In my experience and through my own recovery process, I came to realize two realities. The first reality is that many people do not want or do not know how to process their feelings. The second reality that helped me to begin to have more peace in my life was that many people either do not know how to or do not want to change. To face the reality that our lives have been forever changed because of our brain injury may be too painful too painful for them to accept. Because accepting our reality may be too painful, the individuals may stay in and defend their denial. Defending their denial for what they do not want to accept is not our fault. Secondly, because of their lack of acceptance, they may justify the way they treat us. Defending their denial and for what uh, for what they do not want to accept is not our fault. Justifying the way they treat us because of their lack of acceptance is not our fault. Awareness. In my experience and for, for many years, once I began to come out of my own denial, I attempted to get family members and friends to understand and accept my reality. I tried to explain to them in many different ways that I was not fudging or making excuses. I tried to convince them otherwise, but the more I tried, the more I felt frustrated. What, what was conveyed to me was that if I just tried harder, then I would not be affected by my brain injury. But the reality was that I tried every which way that I could do to not be affected or impacted because of my brain injury. My trying to convince them of my reality created ongoing conflicts. Conflicts in them because they could not accept and the conflict in me for feeling that there was something wrong with me. Conflicts in me for not being able to not be impacted by a brain injury. Conflicts in me that would leave me frustrated. Con conflicts in me that left me with a sense of shame, a sense of shame for not being able to overcome the impact of my brain injury and my invisible disability. Awakening. After much toil and cycles of the above mentioned conflicts, I had a spiritual awakening, a realization that I needed to do something different, a realization that I needed to do something to be able to accept myself, a realization that what I was trying to change was change was not going to change my reality. When I reached the point when I could no longer de deny and defend my reality, I made some life-changing choices. I began to grieve my reality. Grieving my reality helped me to begin 
to get to a place of acceptance. Acceptance provided the bridge to taking a different course of action. Through my grieving process, I discovered that I was able to face, confront, and address my own denial. By doing so, I had more peace in my life. What I discovered through confronting my own lack of acceptance was that I was able to let go of the struggle, a struggle that convinced me that I needed to get them to understand and accept what I could not change. What I also discovered was that I needed to let go. I needed to let go of what other people wanted or needed me to believe about myself so that I could get on with my life. What I discovered was Excuse me, I needed, uh, excuse me, what I discovered was that I alone needed to accept my reality. I needed to accept my reality so I could stop fighting against myself. Can't afford to wait for people to catch up. What I discovered was that I needed to, I need to let go of what other people think of me. What I discovered was that I needed to walk down a road that only I could travel. I also began to realize that in order to create a good life for myself, I could no longer wait for people to walk over the bridge of acceptance, acceptance of who I was and my reality. I began to realize that in order for me to create a good life for myself, I could not wait for people to catch up, <coughs> excuse me, catch up in their ability to understand and to accept me in my reality. I also began to realize that although people needed to be needed me to be different, I could be myself. I could accept myself where I was at. I could learn how to thrive within my reality. I could not afford to wait for people to catch up with their ability to accept me in my reality. I needed to move on and learn how to be effective in my reality. I began to realize that being misunderstood and shunned was in no way was the way excuse me. I began to realize that being misunderstood and shunned was the way in which they cope with what they could not accept. The people who needed to misunderstand and or chose to misunderstand and shun me. I began to realize that I needed to let go of the people who misunderstood and shunned me. I needed to let them go so that I could grow in my own acceptance, the acceptance of who I am and what I could do living with the impact of a brain injury and an invisible disability, what I could do in ways that would work for me. Several years ago, I wrote an article and made a video presentation of the article. Below are links to the article and the video presentation. The article illustrates how valuable we are with what makes us different in the midst of being misunderstood and shunned. Remember, you are of much value because of your reality. The, two part, the article series is Living with a Disability and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and the video presentation is this, by that same name. In my acceptance. In my experience, as I began to realize that I could not wait for people to catch up in their acceptance, I found a new freedom. I began to realize that I was walking down a road less traveled, a road that was leading me to fulfilling my dreams, a road that was leading me to fulfill my destiny, a road across other bridges of acceptance yet to be discovered. Bridges of acceptance that would give me more peace in my life. Bridges that would help me to accept that people are where they are on their own journeys. The people who must misunderstand and shun me for whatever reason. During the past nine and a half years as I've grown to accept both myself and where other people are on their journeys, I have continued to make peace with being misunderstood and shunned. As I have found more peace being misunderstood and shunned, being misunderstood and shunned has had less impact upon me. Several year, or several days ago, I updated my about page to share what help, has helped me 
to be at peace with being misunderstood and shunned. In my updated page, I share what helped me and continues to help me to move forward with my life. I would invite you to read my updated about page by clicking on the link, and there's a link to my updated about page here on the article, which I include a link to in the description portion here on YouTube. Hope. My experience may help you to let go of the people who must understand and shun you. My experience may help you to find more peace in your life when people misunderstand and shun you. My experience may help you to feel less alone. My experience may encourage you and inspire you to walk down a road less traveled and over bridges of acceptance, self-acceptance despite being misunderstood and shunned. Bridges, yet, bridges of acceptance yet to be revealed. As you read my about page and what I share helps you, please let me know. Thank you. I would love to hear from you. This is the end of the video presentation of the article, Traumatic Brain Injury Being Misunderstood and Shunned. Before I go, let me encourage you with this. Please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process. More will be revealed to you and to me in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. Bye now.